All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are all going to be able to write an equation in point-slope form when given the graph of the line. First, we need to look at a couple things. Um, an understanding of point-slope form, and it would be written as y minus the y1 coordinate, which you can see is actually the second number in your ordered pair, and that equals m times the quantity of, and where m is the slope, the quantity of x minus the x1 coordinate. And once again, that's the first number in your ordered pair. One other thing that you need to know is what the slope actually is. It is the rise over the run. It's a ratio of the amount of rise over run. So we're going to go ahead and have a look at our first example. Here is point slope form and you're supposed to use the point that is farthest to the right in order to write the equation in point slope form or write the graph as a an equation in point slope form. First we want to get the points so we're going to use this one here that's farthest to the right 3 comma 4 and I'm just going to put that point down 3 comma 4. Now the next thing I want is the slope. So what we're going to do is have a look at the rise over the run. And if we go to the point that we see back here, we can see that it's rising one unit. It's going up one unit and we're going to put that as our rise and then we look at the run and it is going over three units since it's to the right it's a positive three so our slope is one-third once you have that now it's just a matter of putting it into the equation so we rewrite the point slope form and now the y1 coordinate goes right here, the slope goes here, and the x1 coordinate goes right here. Let's try one more. And here we go. So once again, we're going to put the point that is farthest to the right, and it's 4, 3. Next, we need to write the slope. And again, we're looking at the rise over the run. All right. When we do this, we're going to go to the point that's immediately behind it on the graph, and we're going to look at the rise and actually it looks like we're going down one two three units so we would say the rise is actually a negative three all right so i'm going to put my rise and i have this negative sign i'm going to put that next to my three now the run is one two three four units so since it's going to the right, it's a positive 4, and we have our slope now as negative 3 fourths. Now it's a matter of simply writing it into point-slope form. So we write y minus, and we need to move our y1 coordinate here, equals the slope, negative 3 fourths, times x minus the x1 coordinate. And that's how you take a linear graph and rewrite it in point slope form as an equation. Well, I hope this helped you out. See you.